Thank you so much, uh, President uh, Nikiewicz's, uh, dear Edgars. It's great to be back in uh, Riga. Great to uh, again meet with you. And thank you for hosting uh, this uh, B9 uh, summit here in uh, Riga. Many thanks also to uh, the co-chairs, uh, President Duda and uh, President uh, Johannes. It's uh, also great to be able to sit down with you again. And then uh, let me highlight or underline the importance of this uh, platform, the B9, as a platform to address uh, common security challenges and also to how to further strengthen um, uh, NATO's uh, eastern flank. Uh, and of course, it is even more so an important uh, platform with now also Finland and uh, Sweden present around the table as uh, uh, full members of the uh, alliance. Um, the meeting today provides us with an excellent uh, opportunity to address the issues which are important as we prepare for the upcoming uh, NATO summit in Washington uh, in July, um, to address how to further bolster our deterrence and defense, uh, all uh, the allies in the B9 uh, framework and also Finland and Sweden are playing a key role uh, in um, providing deterrence and defense. Um, the B9 countries host uh, NATO's uh, battle groups uh, in the eastern part of the alliance and you contribute to, to our collective defense uh, in many different ways and we are extremely grateful for that. Uh, the NATO summit will then make important decisions on how to further strengthen our deterrence and defense and how to continue to step up when it comes to defense spending, also uh, an area where uh, the countries in this room actually are leading by example, uh, all spending uh, at least 2% of GDP on defense. We will also address how to put our support for Ukraine on a firmer footing. Uh, Ukraine needs uh, long-term support. They need uh, predictability, accountability. So therefore, uh, I expect that NATO leaders, uh, when they meet in July, we will agree that NATO should lead the coordination effort of providing uh, security assistance and training, and also agree a long-term financial commitment to Ukraine. So once again, thank you so much for hosting the meeting. Thank you for inviting me. I look forward to the discussions.